Hey guys, welcome back to Bronson's Math Club. Today's topic is how to solve word problems for equivalent ratios. So ratio is a comparison of two numbers, and equivalent ratios are two ratios that are the same. Now today I'm going to be telling you how to solve word problems for these equivalent ratios. So here's a word problem. Well, let's read it very carefully and solve. It says Jim and Gary both go to the candy store. For every two pieces of candy that Jim gets, Gary gets six pieces of candy. If Jim buys five pieces of candy, then how many will Gary have? Okay, so we know that there's um, two people, and that they're Jim and Gary. Now, they both go to the candy store, and for every two pieces of candy that Jim gets, so if Jim gets two pieces of candy then Gary gets six pieces of candy so ev for every two uh, um, two pieces of candy that Jim gets Gary gets six pieces of candy so a ratio is going to become two to six now let's read the question again it says if Jim buys five pieces of candy then how many will Gary have so they're telling us that if Jim buys five pieces of candy okay then how many will Gary have okay so we don't know how many pieces of candy that Gary has now but we do but we do know how many pieces of candy Jim has so we can use that okay so first we have to make the ratios into fraction form 2 to 6 will become 2 over 6 and 5 to amount that we don't know will become 5 over a the a represents which is a variable that represents the amount we don't know okay so now we have to cross multiply um these uh two fractions i'm going to cross multiply 2 by a and then i'm going to cross multiply 6 by 5 2 times a gives us 2a and 6 times 5 gives us 30. So now what we need to do is now we're going to use inverse operations since um, we're multiplying 2 by a now we're going to divide 2a by 2 and we're going to do the same on the other side so 2a divided by 2 gives us um, a because 2 and 2 cancel each other out and 30 divided by 2 gives us 15 so a is equal to 15 so now the amount that we don't know which we represented as the variable a ha now we know is the number 15 okay so for uh, if jim buys 5 pieces of candy then gary will have 15 pieces of candy our ratio has now become 5 to 15 okay so this is how you solve um word problems for equivalent ratios thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys next time bye